1870 air hole drill is equipped with a feature called True Set, which allows operators to easily adjust several settings without having to get out of the cab. After watching this video, you will be able to perform a full frame calibration successfully, determine the depth and height presets on the display, describe how to flick the SCV to quickly adjust depth, and adjust fertilizer trip force and packing wheel pressure. TrueSet is a John Deere exclusive for the 76-foot 1870. TrueSet allows operators to make adjustments to trip force, packing pressure, and opener depth, all from the comfort of the cab. No longer do adjustments need to be made using a manual valve. Pressure control dials on the TrueSet run page allow growers to make incremental adjustments without leaving the cab. This can be a real time saver and makes it easier to adapt to changing field conditions. In order to achieve proper seed depth, a full frame calibration is required. It's also wise to run a full frame calibration at the beginning of every season. Prior to running a frame calibration, begin with the tool on a level solid surface and make sure the tool is raised with the openers one inch above the ground. Pull the tool forward while raising the machine. This process will ensure that no binding between the frame and the wheel module joints exists. Set press wheel down force to a minimal number. Set shank breakout force at target level. To start the calibration, first touch the setting soft key. Next select the calibrations tab and then select the calibration button. Next select the depth sensor and wheel valve checkboxes. Tap the accept button and wait for the calibration process to complete. To set proper depth and height for your operation, begin with leveling the opener height and establishing a ground line. Reference the OM for the proper process to establish these. Once this is done, enter the field and unfold the tool. Next, raise the frame until the fertilizer shank is at the target height for the headland turns, then press the upper set point button. Now drive forward while lowering the tool. Make visual field checks to establish proper or target depth. When you have established this target depth, touch the lower set point button. A couple of things to note here. First, do not detent the SCV when establishing set points. Also, during frame calibration, a maximum raise and lower height is established and these values can't be adjusted. A good rule of thumb to follow while setting up the openers is, first, make your depth adjustment, second, set your packing pressure, and third, set your trip force. Of course, setting your proper depth will also depend on the crop you are seeding and the soil condition you are working in. Setting the opener at three and a half inches is a good starting point to begin with. Based on your commodity and soil condition, you may need to make adjustments from there. If needed, you could shallow up or deepen the shank just to make sure you are getting good seed to soil contact. For instance, if you shallow up the shank, you are also shallowing up the seed tube. You will need to adjust the seed tube in this case, or you may not even be getting the seed into the ground. Customers also have the ability to set a flick up or down setting on the tool. This allows operators to make small incremental adjustments to the depth or height just by flicking the SCV without detenting. In order to enter these values, select the settings button. From here, enter the values in the flick input boxes. Also on this screen, operators have the ability to manually set upper and lower limit set points if they so choose. Here we see the operator setting the flick values on the setup page. As you can see here, the flick increment can not only be set to small increments, but a larger flick adjustment can be made as well. Another John Deere design advantage is the separating of the fertilizer shank from the packing wheel. Customers are well aware that soil conditions can change within the same field. This design will allow operators to make either adjustment without leaving the cab. Setting trip force on the fertilizer shank can be adjusted from the shank force section of the screen using the plus or minus buttons. Or operators can touch the target input box to access the settings screen. From here, operators can set upper and lower limit alarm values. 
Also, the amount of force increase when plus button is pushed and decrease force amount when the minus button is pushed. Once again, soil conditions will play a major role in setting proper trip force. 350 to 400 PSI is a good reference point to start with and then adjust accordingly. For instance, if the shank is pulling rocks out of the ground, reducing trip force pressure is recommended. On the other side, if the shank repeatedly clanks as you go across the field, trip force pressure should be increased. Here the operator is setting the press wheel downforce. Access the press wheel downforce section of the screen. As you can see, the settings can be set just as you set trip force. Upper and lower alarm values can be set along with the pressure increase and decrease by using the plus or minus buttons. Setting the correct packing wheel pressure positively affects yields. If a customer is running in wet clay and packing wheel pressure is too high, it can cause actual smearing of the soil during closing. Smearing of the soil can affect yield by robbing the seed of available nutrients or push the seed out of the soil completely. The 1870 air hole drill has several settings that can be easily adjusted from inside the cab to match a wide variety of soil conditions and crops. Taking the time to properly adjust these will help ensure that your crop gets off to the best start possible. Now you are able to perform a full frame calibration successfully, determine the depth and height presets on the display, describe how to flick the SUV to quickly adjust depth, and adjust fertilizer trip force and packing wheel pressure.